Good day, members of parliament and senators. I'm doing this short video to ask you to please vote no to Bill C-8, which wants to criminalize conversion therapy. My name is Vilna van Beek and I'm a former lesbian who has chosen to walk away from living and practicing a homosexual lifestyle. I'm going to share a short version of my journey with you and I want you to please pay close attention because there are a few key elements uh, that happened in my life that is profoundly and which impacted my life. The first one was the Word of God. The second one was conversion to Christ. And then the third one was the ability to talk to someone about what was going on in my heart. This was helpful and not harmful. Here's a little bit about my story. As long as I remember, I was different. I didn't understand it at the time. Uh, and I believed the myth that was going around in South Africa. That's where I grew up. I came to Canada about 12 years ago, so I'm a Canadian citizen today. But I believed that myth that said, if I can run under a rainbow, it will change your sex. I just wanted to be a boy and I tried to chase every rainbow that I saw. I grew up in a, in a Christian home. We went to church on Sundays, but there was a lot of dysfunction going on. I had two parents who did not treat each other well. Uh, there was verbal abuse, there was physical abuse, and in the process, my heart got hurt and it, it affected my heart deeply. I also developed a tremendous fear towards uh, men. In the midst of all of this, my mother gave me a Bible when I was eight years old and I started to read my Bible and truth entered into my heart. I learned what was right and what was wrong. I learned what was pleasing to the Lord and what was not pleasing to Him. I accepted Jesus fully into my life and in my heart in the early 1990s. And I, at the time, I, I really desired to follow Him wholeheartedly and be obedient to, to Him. But I had this inward struggle inside of me. I experienced unwanted and unchosen same-sex attractions. It was a huge battle in my life. Uh, I tried to, to, you know, live and practice a homosexual life and follow Jesus. But for me personally, that did not work. I entered into my first homosexual relationship when I was 21. And I had no clue what I was doing because I was also dating men at the same time. Now, having sex with a boyfriend outside of biblical marriage, that seemed wrong. But then on the other side, having sex with a girlfriend, that seemed wrong as well. Why? Because I have been reading my Bible and I've learned what was pleasing to the Lord and what was not. But uh, it was just this, this ongoing um, uh, battle. It uh, became a roller coaster ride for about 18 years of my life, caving in, then following Jesus, caving into it, and it, it just went on and on and on. This is what happened to me when I entered into living and practicing a homosexual lifestyle. I felt a wall would go up between me and God. I felt separated from Him. And this separation became unbearable over time. So much so that in 2003, there came a day that I fell on my bedroom floor and I cried out to God and I said, God, I need you to change me. I need you to help me uh, because I cannot and I do not want to live with, uh, without your presence in my life any longer. At this time also, I chose to live a celibate life. And today I am celebrating 17 years of a celibate life. And also I can testify that my same-sex attractions no longer exist. But let me continue. Uh, this has been a long and painful journey at times. 
soon after I um, chose a celibacy in 2003, another woman showed up on the scene and I was attracted to her. And of course, I was deeply disappointed and, and, and couldn't believe that I was attracted to her again. This time, however, I didn't cave into it because I reached out to God right away, but also had the courage to go to my pastor and his wife and talk to them for the first time in my life. Not only did they welcome me in their home, but uh, they um, listened to me, they, they talked to me, they, they prayed for me and with me, and they, uh, they created this safe place in their, in their house. And I was able to pour out everything that was on my heart. And it was over a period of about months and months and months that they invited me into their home. And I received so much healing, so much restoration because of a weight that I was carrying and I was able to just uh, pour it out and, and uh, at the safe place and they were, they were able to listen to me and encourage me uh, on, my, on my journey. And they also became accountability partners, which when I was, was weak, I was able to reach out to them. If my pastor and, and his wife uh, are under uh, 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 Prime Minister Justin Trudeau's liberal uh, laws, which uh, Bill C-8, if, if that's the case, my pastor and his wife will not be able to, to help me. They will be too afraid to go against the law. And so they will not be able to walk with me, talk with me, pray with me. And thus healing and restoration and a, a lot of help that I received would not be able to come to me. Also, if I would uh, give money to them, to their church, it will mean that they receive monetary uh, uh, for, for uh, conversion therapy, which will be against the law according to Bill C-8. And uh, so they, uh, they will uh, go to jail for that. Um, so I please ask you again, do not vote yes, vote no. My story continues. Later in my life, I struggled with other things. I chose to go to a Christian counselor, dealing with anger at the point. I had a lot of anger issues in my life. And in the process, as we start to talk about all of this, uh, we discovered, I discovered that the root of my anger was fear. Remember, I told you about fear early on. And when we were able to deal with this, after the fact, I actually discovered that my same-sex attractions no longer exist, which I believe in my whole heart that the root of my same-sex attractions was fear. And if, I, uh, if, if my counselor, whether it's a Christian counselor or not, if, if they were under Justin Trudeau's liberal government with Bill C-8, if that has been forced on on them they will not be able to help me and even giving f money to pay for the services that will be uh, considered as paying for uh, and supporting conversion therapy and they will um, it will be uh, they will they can go to jail for that and that is not acceptable so again members of parliament senators i urge you today please vote no to bill c8 which wants to criminalize conversion therapy. I thank you today. I thank you for taking the time to watch this. May God bless you. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.